what is up pistol nation my friends so it looks like machine zone gave crystal born kind of a facelift we got a lot of new features to talk about so let's dig right into this all right here we are first thing i want to mention is yesterday i did pick the winner for the pack giveaway and it was posted on the community tab for youtube my community posts um the the winner had tw has 24 hours to respond back and comment on that post and going by the time that i posted it yesterday they got about three more hours left before i choose a new winner so that's where the winner is being picked you guys and girls there's no problem you should see it like anytime if you're subscribed to the channel anytime i post one of those community things and as long as you go on youtube you should see my post every time so that's where the winner is the winner has a few more hours left um at 3 p.m eastern if they have not responded to that community post then i'm picking a new winner and i'll post a new winner in the community post we'll just do and pick a new winner just like that bam so uh yeah um i just want to get this giveaway like done like, i want to power somebody up i know you guys and girls are itching to get powered up we're gonna get you powered up and uh so this is the layout uh, a lot of things are going on right now as you can see machine zone changed a lot <clears throat> so we got two new things added right here on the bottom left corner i might be in the way i don't know if you can see it my head's kind of in the way and my chair right there yeah right there you could kind of see it like right above right above my head slash behind my head are the two new features we got and we also um they moved your free tre uh, treasure chest right here is that down at the bottom next to battle what they did was they implemented a faster way for us to farm resources so you can do this in bounty boards and the campaign as you can see it says collect because i already had some running so i'm going to click over here and wow i collected a ton of resources this is pretty insane so and i have my uh campaign i'm going to click this i got a lot look at that that's crazy i i, I didn't even have to play the game right so I'm going to show you what this does. I'm going to give you some tips and tricks, and then I'm going to tell you what the best areas to farm are in the bounty board because we got new nightmare bounties. So I'm going to tell you which nightmare bounties to focus on. I just kind of want to give you a brief view of how this like uh, instant reward thing kind of happens like this new farming feature that they added. So you'll go into like bounty board. We'll go into bounty board. And you could do it for pretty much anything. You could do it for this one, super bounties. Um, you could do it for this one, the loot hoard, whatever. As long as you have energy, you can use it. So I'm gonna go and give you an example. We'll go over to the infusion bounties, right? I'm gonna click this one randomly. Now, as long as you three starred that level, you can do this like instant queue. Now the it's gonna it's gonna like a timer is gonna show up and the timer is based on how long it took you to complete this level and I believe it goes by like 200 um, rounds or something like that 200 actions so the longer it took you to complete the match or the level the longer the queue is gonna be but we're gonna go all the way down to the bottom because we completed this we want to get the good good gear and I'll just click on this queue right here at the bottom and you can do as many ones as you want depends on again if you have the energy so as you can see it says shortest clear 200 and it even says complete the level faster perform each match faster so one is going to take us 10 minutes and 15 seconds and it just kind of keeps adding up so if we go all the way to nine and we click auto repeat level a timer starts and that's it it's it's running the dungeon the bounty for us we don't even have to worry about it now you can only do it for one bounty or one campaign area at a time so as you can see i have this running right now if i was to go into another bounty let's say we want to do the rare bounties right here and we go over here or no not that one where is it 
uh let's see let me go back to let's do guild conquest and we'll pick something like this as you can see the three stars for the queue is like grayed out we cannot do another one because we already have one running for the bounty area but we can go into campaign and then we'll go to any campaign level as long as you three start it right here at the bottom it says queue we can queue it and there we go it'll just start running on its own so then these are the two new features they added right here like right behind my head is they're right here if you want to speed them up you can get speed ups too right now they're in the packs and that's just you know an extra feature but i, I like it there is uh some flaws to this that you might not want to use this all the time it's very good for when you're going to sleep uh if you're at work and you you have a bunch of energy and you want to use it just to you know burn it off and get the free resources really good for that what it's not good for though is cert for certain events so if we go over to events if we have an event that says we need to use a specific character in bounty event uh, bounty missions or campaign missions you will not get credit so the way it works is it doesn't pick an actual team so when you're doing these like auto battles these quick auto battles where it's timed it doesn't pick a team so you're not getting xp so that's one thing you need to keep into consideration it doesn't have characters running this so you're not getting character xp so if you want to like increase your characters level them up uh, maybe you have a few of the lower characters that you're trying to power up as feeders right so maybe you're trying to get some commons as feeders or maybe you want to level up some of your epic characters you're going to have to do that like manually or do like the auto battle but if you do this like fast way with the timer you do not get xp for characters and events are not going to count either it will count if the event says uh to use energy so if it says use energy like use 100 energy in, in bounty battles you will get credited in the event for that but if it has anything to do with um let's say for example you have uh, one of these missions and it says use juliet in 25 bounty missions and win you will not get the credit if you do it through that timer you're gonna have to go in and select your characters and run it that way that's I, that's just how it is unfortunately it's now let's go and dive into these nightmare bounties because these nightmare bounties are amazing for mid to end gamers people who are already have well established accounts if you're new to the game I don't know I, I sadly say if you even haven't spent any money in the game you might not even be able to access these because you need a pretty strong team I mean a hundred thousand is not too bad but then it does go up pretty strong at like five hundred thousand a million two million it it gets pretty high fast so if you're a beginner you might be able to farm like the first floor or maybe the first two but after that it's gonna get pretty hard there's a lot going on there's a lot of different ones these other ones are kind of pointless now the the that's what's kind of like weird is the nightmare bounties are like the best bounties to run now and like these research bounty the gear this this one is pointless unless you're like a brand brand new player but if you've been playing the game for a couple weeks or even a month and you got like a somewhat established account this stuff is useless like it's pointless you're gonna go straight to nightmare bounties so we have earned uh, this one will give you XP salvage silver research data blueprints this one's pretty good uh, as you can see it gives a wide variety of rewards I was able to make it to floor seven which is five million power and this is with my like super jacked Juliet okay so I don't know the last time I made that video we had bought a bunch of packs but I didn't really power up my characters I powered the heck out of my characters and uh, I still I didn't even use my gems we still have a million gems but my characters are like jacked to the max right now our Juliet is insane our Sarge is 69 Mikkel 69 I mean everyone like got super buffed from that pack spending spree we had <laughs> I mean, my Juliet's insane. She's level 70. We got a mythic card on her. Um, we got almost all her stats. Like, we got this one to five. I was kind of iffy about these ones going to five, but I could do it. I mean, I have the silver right now. 
Uh, the gear we have, Horner, is insane. Pretty good. We got a mythic hat right here. We got um, it, pretty good. Pretty good. I mean, we got her to infusion 11. We're working on 12. She's a she's crazy strong, though. She's like a powerhouse. Uh, this one's pretty good. But, again, this one's good if you need XP. It's good if you need XP. Uh, it's not dropping too much silver. A little bit of silver, but... What's good about this one is you get a bunch of variety of items. Like, you're going to get a bunch of different things. You'll get a little bit of silver, you get a little bit of XP. So this one's pretty good. I don't necessarily recommend this. I mean, again, it depends on your needs. Uh, next, we have this one's dropping infusion tokens. Again, we made it all the way to floor 7. We have infusion tokens. Okay, so I really like this one. Not necessarily for the infusion tokens. I really like this one because we're getting gold cards, which I need. I need tons of gold cards to level up your companions from 1 to 30. But then it's also dropping these airship upgrade keys. I got a ton of these airship upgrade keys from farming this uh, bounty. I mean, I got tons. These are really, really good. These airship upgrade keys, I'm telling you. This is good. And then it's also giving us these fabrication center upgrade keys, which is a whole new area that they gave us in the airship right here. So the fabrication center, you're going to need a ton though. You need like 100,000, which is a ridiculous amount. But we do get 10% reduced gear upgrade and empowered. 100% max health, 100% reduced gear upgrade and silver. I mean, that's a lot. As a, those, those are really good. Um, but as you can see, I'm going to be able to do like the, uh, was it the training bay? What is this? Is, is it this one, right? The airship upgrade keys. Yeah. So we almost have enough to do this. So I really want that reduced companion gold card. But I really like that bounty. I think that's... Uh, a huge one to to get the noble vault one is definitely worth farming i mean you get a lot of good stuff this is stuff that's going to last you a long time in the long run like it's good uh next one we're going to go is the, the scrap scrap yard this one's pretty good if you need the materials to empower your gear like your top tier and your uh empowered whatever type of gear it is because there's different uh, empowered gears, and you're gonna need these little like mallets or whatever they are. Yeah, you can call them mallets. And then they also have the empowered salvage. This is good if you need this. Um, again, I wouldn't say this is like the best one to farm, but this is if you need it, right? If you need it, you're gonna come here to farm. Um, the noble vault, I think, is a number one choice. You definitely should be farming the noble vault. Uh, the distillery, we have super elite and empowered. This one is pretty good. Again, we made it to uh, we made it to floor eight before we kind of hit a wall. This is again just dropping tons of different XP. You don't get a lot of it, but again, if you're gonna keep grinding this over and over and over again, eventually you're gonna get some decent ones. You know, enough to level your characters up. Uh, the good thing I like about this is the nightmare um, energy regenerates, so that's good. Thank God. It's not like, oh, you only get a certain amount, and then you got to buy the rest in packs. I'm glad they didn't do that. So that's good. It regenerates. The distillery, very good if you need that uh, super elite empowered XP. Uh, House of Cards. This one's pretty good if you already have a well-established companion card and you're trying to push it to the limit. Uh, we made it to six. Push it to the limit. <laughs> But uh, yeah, you're going to need these green cards to increase your companion cards from level 31 to 40, which is pretty good. Again, though, this is situational. If you don't need these, then there's really no point to farm this area. Like, don't waste your nightmare energy if you don't have any companion cards that need these yet. Like, right now, I'm not there yet. I just, I kind of, I got it up to eight just or to six to see how far I could get. And that's it. I'm not really going to be grinding this, uh, grinding, farming this area yet because I don't need these green ones yet. I need those purple ones still or the gold ones, whatever you want to call them. And then we have the Templar area right here. And this gives us again, gear. Now this, I highly suggest. I think this is like your number one area you want to go with because you get really good gear and the other gear that we had before is crap i'm telling you right now the way the game is moving it's moving very fast because it's how machine zone is they move super fast 
you are going to need empowered gear. We are going to get to a point where all the top players in the game are going to have empowered gear. And if you do not have empowered gear, you're going to get absolutely wrecked in the events. You're going to get destroyed in Battle Royale and PvP battles. You're going to get left behind. So the game is moving heavily towards the empowered type of gear there's there's many different types of gear that are empowered so there's not just one type of gear that's empowered there's many different types but empowered is like the top tier gear so this is a great place to start uh this is where you can get the this is where i got the mythic hat i got this mythic hat from this and it's so funny i did it i got it on my first one right here this first run i got i pulled a mythic hat i was like what so there's different types. So it's dropping these ones right here. They have this little uh, like diamond with the plus. We have this little fist. And then we have this like uh, circle, like a hypnotize uh, daze or dizziness, whatever you want to call it. If you have all three of these equipped on your character, you're going to get the set bonus. I'm going to go in and I'm going to show you what the set bonus is real quick. Because these set bonuses are pretty good. Uh, I think I have one of the set bonuses already on my Juliet. Let me just show you. If we go into gear, right here we got the Mythic Hat. Yeah, we got three of the pluses already right here. This is like new. So if we go down here, we have Mana Flow. So this is like all the, uh, as you can see, this is Mana Flow Hat. We got the Mana Flow uh, Armor. And if you have all three equipped, you have 10% speed boost, which is really good. You speed i'm telling you speed is so important in this game then we have a 25 percent chance to gain five additional mana each round this is so strong 25 percent is not like super high but again that's like one and four so out of four rounds one of those rounds you're just going to instantly gain five mana it's so important because it's going to let your other characters get their ultimate attacks off or even their super attacks off more often. You want to have as much mana as possible. Being able to regenerate mana in these games is so good. Now this is very situational and this is only going to benefit you if the round lasts more than one. You know, if the game, if the match, I should say the match lasts more than one round. If you have a super strong uh, character like Juliet or Sarge or one of these AOE uh, one-shot killers, you're not really going to benefit from this until you get into a grind match. This is for grind matches because it's insane. I mean, that five extra mana in a grind match can literally win you the, the, the battle. It's crazy. So I really like the mana flow. Um, the other one is, what is the other one? Let me go to my other characters. I think I have one on another character. The uh, the little dizzy thing, where is it? I think I have that on somebody. I gotta check. Oh, right here. I will just look over here. I actually don't have that equipped to him. I need to. Uh, I need to change Mikkel's armor up. So here we have the dazing armor. This is one of the new uh, sets we got in the uh, nightmare bounty thing. So if you got all three equipped, you're going to get 25% extra accuracy, which is good. 30, I love this one. 33% chance to stun a random enemy at the start of a battle. That is huge. That is huge. At the start of the, and I'm going to tell you why this is so important. If you, if this triggers on your opponent's one shot uh, killer, one shot hero, this can literally win you the game, right? So I'm just going to give you an example. Say I'm going into a PvP battle against somebody else. Their main hero has higher speed. Let's say they have a Sarge on their team. Their Sarge would technically get to go first because he's got the most speed on the battlefield. So their opponent decides to use his AoE attack that absolutely demolishes everything and kills all the characters like it's, it's broken. But he gets stunned because I have this equipment. If I have all three of this equipped, 33% chance to stun a random hero. Guess what? That 33% triggers and that random hero is your opponent Sarge. His a turn now gets skipped. And instead of him absolutely one-shotting your team, now your team has the chance to one-shot your opponent's team. 
I'm telling you, it literally can help so much. It can help so much. This is a great gear set. If you can get this equipped on one of your uh, six heroes in your uh, main team, do it. This dazing one is so good. Uh, what was the other type? Uh, the what was it the fist or did I talk about the no the fist is the other new one I think Harold's armor this is a really good one 25% chance for critical 25% uh, critical chance which again this is really good for one shot killers Juliet Sarge Cyclone um, R and O uh, a bunch of other ones 10% chance to stun enemies for one turn on hit crazy this is really good though too like insane but yeah i i highly suggest the templar area for the gear the gear is absolutely this gear is so good this gear is so good and you can get these t9s tier nines i'm telling you now uh, one thing i want to show you if you get one of these mythics it has like a bonus stat like if you wanted to know what the difference was between like the legendary uh gear and the mythic gear we go over here and uh we check this out we have like a bonus stat right here mythic because this is mythic we got a, a 10 speed boost so that's pretty cool so the mythic gears i believe all the mythic gears will give you a special extra buff which is really good but yeah this this was really good i was actually it's so funny because yesterday i was like getting bored with the game i'm like oh there's nothing really going on i'm kind of getting bored with this game already I'm like, they didn't give us nothing to do. And then they dropped the Nightmare Bounties. The night this is a great addition to the game. This is, I really like this. This really gives us a chance for uh, players who are already at a high level to kind of increase and do stuff. Because before, these other, these other bounties weren't doing anything. Like, this gear is so outdated already for us. It's so, this gear is so power creeped out. This regular gear, it's terrible now. Um, but yeah, this is the nightmare bounties. I suggest the gear first right here, the Templar area, um, then the noble, the noble vault, because you can get these uh, gold cards. You want to upgrade your companion cards. Uh, that's one other thing I want to just mention real quick. Um, don't upgrade the blues. The epics are iffy you want to get the most value from this like you want these to last you're you don't want to just use these uh these gold cards to upgrade crappy ones that are like low tier levels so i'm going to go and just show you for a second the mythic if you i got so lucky i pulled a mythic card a mythic companion card if you pull a mythic companion card that is easy you upgrade the heck out of that there's no problem that's not going to get power creeped out for a very long time mythic companion card is going to last you a super long time as you can see i only have it at level four and these percentages are insane and then look at this if i can get it up higher at 40 at level 40 i gain six extra mana like that's insane so mythic cards easy upgrade the heck out of them you don't need to worry gold cards if you can pull a gold card again upgrade the gold cards you don't have to worry they're gonna last you a long time the epic cards is where it starts to get iffy upgrading the epic cards is in between and it's kind of your choice as you can see i did upgrade some of my epic cards early on because that's all i had i didn't get lucky enough to pull the legendaries or mythics but i recently i pulled the mythic and i got these two legendaries so i'm able to invest highly in these the blue ones don't invest in these uh rare companion cards they're not worth they're not worth wasting your i mean it only seems like it's only three to upgrade it right now to level two but again it's those are going to add up you're going to three and three and three and you keep upgrading it that's like 30 that you could waste that you could use to upgrade like a gold or mythic one the epic ones are in between they're not bad right but these are going to get power creeped out like eventually the epic cards are going to get power creeped out they're still really good like don't get me wrong they're still really good but their value isn't going to hold the only value i see holding right now is the mythic companion cards and the legendary cards those are going to last you investing in those using your resources to upgrade them you're okay you don't have to worry but the epic cards are going to start to get a little bit iffy you know they'll last you a little bit but they are eventually going to get power creeped out the blues the blues don't worry about their trash 
Now you can save your blues. You don't necessarily have to spend them. That's another thing I wanted to mention. Um, just because you pull a blue doesn't mean you should like instantly sell it. You could keep it and just throw it on uh, extra character you have, especially for like when the battle royale comes back. You could throw a companion card on somebody who you put as defense. You don't have to upgrade it. Like this is a, a little stat boost is good. You know, nine percent, nine percent, three percent. It's not a lot, but hey, it, it's better than nothing. As if you were to sell it, you know, you only get one back. You get one of these gold cards and 19 you know is that one gold card really re really worth it or is it better to just hold it as like you know fodder to hold and uh put on you know a random character like i might not be using maelstrom in my main uh team but you know look i threw a companion card on him just for the heck of it you know in case i use him for defense in like guild conquest or battle royale or something so stuff like that is worth, you know, just looking into. I hope you all enjoyed this video. This video was super long. Pistol whip that like button, please. Help support the channel. Pistol whip that like button. Hit the subscribe button to help support the channel also for more mobile gaming content, for more fun shenanigans, and to see my beautiful face. Pistol Nation, I love y'all. Y'all are amazing. Stay happy. Stay safe. And get out there and get those good pieces of gear i'll see y'all in the next video make sure you guys are checking the uh the community thing man make sure you're checking it because that's where the winner is posted i'll see y'all in the next video peace 30 minutes jesus this video was too long rack it up rack it up i got a bit of the bank to make me a safe house shake it up shake it up she got a hands